What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. I do hacker rank and leak code tutorials, so check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm. But anyways, today we're going over a, a tough problem. Good, It's a good one to learn um, for some. So, you know, they have two some, three some, four some. It can basically go up to anything. Um, it's called K sum. Um, so given an array nums of n integers and an integer target, are there elements A, B, C, D in nums th such that the equal target find all unique quadruplets in the array which gives the sum of target? And it can't contain duplicate quadruplets, um, so that's important. Um, so I actually spent a lot of time in this one. I was trying to learn the recursive case sum solution because then you can solve any sum um, problem with that so you can do like five if they give you five some you can use that solution to solve it um, I just don't understand recursion enough so I'm just going to show you guys basically like the iterative solution where we just go through the whole nums um, array um, I'm going to learn go over recursion soon and actually when I fully understand that I'll shoot that video for you guys because that's a good one to learn but anyways um, so my whiteboard is right here. I drew out a test case for us. Um, so basically we're going to have I, let me change color, I, J, and then we're going to use the two pointers. So we're going to, I like to call them left and right because it's arrays. So left and right. So I wrote the solutions down here. As you can see, the the solution I or where I have all the pointers right now is actually a solution it's the solution so um, when that happens um, we're gonna want to move left and right in um, the reason you don't want to move it took me a realize to realize this the reason you just don't want to move like say left and keep right where it is well there's no um, other possible solution with those three numbers so there's no other possible solution with i, j, and right. We can't move change left and still equal target is what I'm trying to say. So that's why you move both at the same time. So the next one is <coughs> left and then right, which is actually the second solution. Interestingly enough, it, those are the only two solutions in this test case I wrote. Um, so that's how we're going to do that. But we'd also obviously have our We'd move those along. Those are our outer for loops. Um, so yeah, let's just code that out now. So we have a list of lists of integers. And if you see me looking over here, I'm looking at OBS to make sure I'm not blocking the code. All right, and let's grab the size of the array if nums so this is our base case and size is less than four then we're just going to return an empty result all right so the first thing we want to do is we're going to sort it if you saw my whiteboard it was sorted so that's the easiest way um this is the o n cubed problem anyways so it doesn't matter if we sort it it's o of n squared all right so we have that I'm trying to think if we need anything else okay so i believe we're just gonna have a four loops now so y is less than size minus three so minus three because we have three other pointers basically um if i is greater, so this is where we're going to check for duplicates. Remember, we can't have duplicates. So if i is greater than zero, we want to say greater than zero because if it is zero, that means we're in the first iteration. So we don't want to check for duplicates yet. Um, and nums of i equals nums of i minus one. Then we're going to continue, which is just saying like kick the for loop again. So increment i. Um, and then we're going to have our j pointer for loop, which is i plus 1, j 
less than size minus two because there's only uh, two other pointers. And we're gonna check for duplicates here. J is greater than I plus one because we want it to be after the first iterations only. Um, and same thing, so just like continue, increment J. <clears throat> okay, so then we're going to want to set our left pointer to J plus one, and our right pointer is gonna be the end, so size minus one. Um, and let's grab, I believe now we just grab some nums of i plus nums of j. Actually, no, we have to have a while loop first. Yeah, we got to. So this occurs in basically every sum problem while left is less than right. We're going to move them in to each other, basically. So um, int sum equals nums i plus nums j. Um, it's left if sum equals target we're gonna have a bunch of stuff in here um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the other possible scenarios so if sum is greater than target uh, actually I'm gonna do sum is less than target we're going to Increment left. Else, the else is saying if sum is greater than target. If the sum is greater than the target, we're gonna want to decrement the sm uh, larger pointer, which is right. <clears throat> okay, so now let's figure fill this in. If sum equals target, we're going to want to add. Um, so let's create a, a list first of integers. So because we have a list of lists, we need to create a list. So res equals new array list. Um, so if that's the case, we're gonna wanna add all of them. So nums of i. Okay, cool. Res add nums j. Then we're just going to do result dot add res, and I think that's it for adding it. We just need to. So now we need to, like I said on the whiteboard, we need to. Since we have the solution, we need to move them both at the same time because it's not possible to get another answer by just moving one pointer. Um, and then we need to check for duplicates. So while left is less than right, and nums left, nums left minus one, um, we're gonna increment left because that means we have a duplicate. And same thing for right. Except it's going to be checking the right value. 
and this time it's going to be right plus one because we decommitted right so we want to check what it was beforehand right minus minus and then I think that's it return result so hopefully that works first try yeah sweet it does submit it so you get all of it's not very fast that's why i wanted to learn um the recursive way um i'll get it eventually and i'll come back and uh, post that solution but so it's o of n cubed runtime because we're looping through three times um and then of what is the space i actually don't know Oh, event space. Yeah, it's because we just have one result array or list, whatever. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.